How to Level Your Dirt Floor, Part 2. Welcome to Book of Instruction. I'm Sarah Bergstrom. In my last video, I showed you how to flatten your dirt floor so that it doesn't have troughs that can hold water and cause either settlement and sinking or, um, or heaving in the soils. Now, last time, my faithful cameraman, Uncle Deshaun Jones, asked the question, how is it that water in the soil can cause heaving? And the answer to that is soil composition. So, here in Colorado, we have what are known as expansive soils. And these are soils also known as clayey soils, C-L-A-Y-E-Y. -E and when these soils get wet and saturated with water, they can actually expand. The bentonite clay in the soil will expand and get bigger, which that motion then can actually radiate into your paver floor um, that, you, that we're trying to create here. It can also heave sidewalks, it can heave concrete slabs. And so one of the things we wanna do is try to prevent heaving one. Um, and, and we can also, we know that the ground is gonna move a little bit. And so we also do some planning for that, which you'll see in future videos. Thanks for that question, Uncle D. What a good question. So now, on to the subject at hand. We're going to talk about the concept of levelness and how to achieve a 2% slope. Now remember, a 2% slope is the minimum slope that will reliably move water in a direction so that it can drain from an installation. And levelness is a simple concept. It's just the absence of tilt or slope. So a perfectly level surface is at a 0% slope. And the way we calculate slope is it's rise over run times 100. Really easy. So now let's talk about figuring out what the actual slope of our current grade is. That's step one. I can tell you, just purely by feel as well as looking at it, that this orange post here is the high point. And as I walk down, I know that this yellow post is the low point of my circular uh, excavation I've got going here. I've also got this black post in the center. That's my center point. I also know, because I've measured it, that my entire diameter of my circle is 18 feet in width. This is my run. Now, let's figure out what our rise is. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a level and we're gonna get our level perfectly level. So here on this side, at the high point, I'm gonna set my level at the high point, and you can see that I've strung this pink string line across the entire installation uh, from my high point to my low point. This is very important too. So here it is, resting there at the high point, then, we're gonna come over. I'm going to use a nail with a big head. And I'm going to put it into the ground at my, at the other end of my level. And then Uncle D, if you come and shoot this bubble now, you can see that it's not level yet. Now, if we come back to this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this side down or pull it up either way, um, depending on which way your bubble's sitting. And eventually, as I push this down very slowly, I'm going to 
eventually get my bubble leveled right and you want your bubble actually to be sitting perfectly now it is sitting perfectly between the black lines you don't want it to be touching one or the other so now we've got our level leveled okay now I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to take my string line and I'm going to either raise or lower it so that it's touching the bottom of the string line. Okay, how does that look over there, Uncle Deshaun? Is it, is it touching the bottom? Tell me what. Say when. It's a little bit high, maybe down just a hair. Uh, right there looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, yep. So there you go, it's perfectly touching the bottom. So now what I know is that I've got my pink string line perfectly level across my diameter. So now, to get our second um, variable in this little equation is we're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're just going to put our um, tape measure on here and I can see that I've got 11 inches from the surface of the dirt up to my pink string line. Okay, let's go do a little arithmetic, kids. I always like to have a sip of my drink. before I attempt any math. Okay, let's look here. This blue circle is representing our 18 foot excavation we've got. I know that the diameter of this is 18 feet, zero inches. So dang it, you gotta convert your units. Because I have an 11 inch rise, I need to make sure that my run is converted. One foot equals 12 inches. 18 times 12, 18 feet times 12 inches is 216 inches. My run is 216 inches. My high point is zero inches. My low point is 11 inches. So now if I stood here and looked straight through this, what you're gonna see is the pink string line, the pink string line here, and the red line is the dirt grade. And you've got 11 inches here. So let's just calculate this. Slope in percentage equals rise over run times 100. The current slope equals 11 inches divided by 216 inches times 100. This gets us a 5% uh, slope. So our current slope in the dirt grade over here is 5%. So now the question is, how much dirt do I take out from the high point to get to a 2% slope? So I know, stop, 